Welcome back to part two. Tutorial 15 part two. My name is Eamon Killian. I've been doing a short set of tutorials on how to get going using IBM software. And we've taken a slight segue and we're doing um, Viata and VYOS and how to get um, a site-to-site -site VPN hooked up between two machines as if we had the internet. So this machine, if you've been following um, part one, this machine is going to be our internet machine, so we're just going to configure this up. We've only just started a clean, totally refreshed VYOS implementation. So what we're going to do with this machine is we're going to go into configure mode. Whoops, if I actually put myself into the window. In configuration mode, we're going to set the host name. Why not? Uh, set system host minus name, um, and we're going to make this internet um, we won't commit that just yet, we might as well just get the interfaces done as well. Set uh, interface Ethernet Eth0. Uh, Eth0 is going to be on the 64 side of things, so we're going to say it's 64001, uh, and its mask is going to be um, slash 30, because we only want two addresses on this 64 network to emulate the internet for us. So that's fine, whoops. Ah, oh, don't forget to say you're giving it the address. Perfect. Then we're gonna have uh, ETH1, and that's gonna be on the 38 network. And again, it's gonna have a slash 30. So that's fine. So we've got ETH0 and ETH1 done. Um, we don't wanna do anything just yet. We're gonna enable static routes. Uh, so we're going to come back to this machine and enable static routes from the 172.16 network to the 192.168 network. But for now, I'm just going to commit those changes and I'm going to save it. Whoops. If I could spell the word save. Perfect. So, um, if we now exit out of here and I'll do a show interfaces. We have our 64.001 and we have our, our 38.001 as well. Perfect. That's exactly where we want to end up with uh, the internet machine. That's all we need to do on this internet machine. So let's get on with the east router and set that up as well. Okay, so the next thing we need to do now is set up our east router, which is going to be on the 172.16 network. So again, I'm going to clone this machine. I'm going to call this the east router. I'm going to reinitialize the MAC addresses and I'm going to do a full clone. Got a lot of disk space for all these clones um, or clean them out regularly. So there's our East router. All right, let's move this to the top underneath our, whoops, underneath our internet one. Oh. There we go. Whoa. Oh. Best laid plans and all that. There it is. So, on the East router, if we remember rightly, we want to have two networks as well. So again, not abridged, we want to have a host only, and this time, the 172 was VBoxNet2, but its initial ETH0, we want to have on the 64. So we're going to have that on the VBoxNet0. Um, I'm going to have this in deny mode. On the other one, VBoxNet, it won't be one, it'll be two. That was our 172 network. So I'm going to deny. Okay, let's just check that. VBoxNet zero, VBoxNet two, that's exactly where we want it. It's the east router. So we're going to start that one up as well. I still have, as you can see here, the internet running. So we can ping check between these two machines in a minute when we get this. Now, just like the last one, we expect this to fail, because of course I reinitialized its MAC addresses so that I would have randomized new MAC addresses for ETH0 and ETH1 here. So the last thing we need is layer two clashes going on. So this will fail, probably, yep. So we'll do exactly the same again. Um, when I show you a slightly different method, um, uh, no, I'll tell you what, let's do it the standard way. 
You can go in and just uh, vi the config.boot file to reset this, but the easiest way is to redo this etc config.boot.default. Commit that, save that, and reboot. Oops. So let's wait for that to come up, and that will have its new interfaces. It will recognize its MAC addresses. And our East router will be ready. Couple of seconds, and we will have our machine. Looking for no, I mean, forget the warning up there. Looking for no errors, and we have none. So that's perfect. And I've mistyped the password. In video tutorial, I think it was 13, we, we talk about how to change the password, etc. But there, there's no need for what we're doing. Um, because we're going to tear down these machines afterwards. So why don't I just set the host name, set system, host minus name, and um, this is east. We'll call this the east router, and we'll commit that, why not? Um, and we're going to save it too, before I forget. So we want to set up the interfaces. So set uh, interface, this, this, if you hit tab, it'll fill it in. Set interfaces, um, ETH stands for Ethernet, um, ETH0, and ETH0 is on the 64 network. So we're going to set that up as, and I forgot this the last time, tell it you're doing the address, 64.0.0.2 and a slash 30. I'm going to commit that. Um, I'm going to save that as well, actually. Um, the next one we want to do is go back to this, and I'm going to set up a 172.16.0.1. And this one's going to have a slash 16. Um, I can't remember now whether I did uh, 0 or 1 for this network. So let's just go into back into VirtualBox and do Preferences. Go to network, and I'm just going to quickly check. I had a 0 0.5. Okay, that's fine with a 16 bit, and there's no DH. Oh, there is a DHCP. Okay, so that's fine. Yeah. And it's a 16 bit. Right, I just wanted to check that. So back in here. Uh, it's on the 0 network, that's absolutely fine. And we're going to make it 0 0.1, and that's fine as well. So commit that and save that. So that's its interfaces set up. Exit out of here, do a show interfaces, and there we go. So, ah, um, oh, that's interesting. I've got two on each zero, because I forgot with this command about five lines up, I forgot I was still on each zero. So we want to come back to this command, and just change set to delete. Commit that. Go back to that command again. Set interfaces ETH1. It's good for you to see the mistakes as well. And now I'm going to commit that and save that. Now when I exit and I do a show interfaces, yeah, that's what we wanted. So we've got an ETH0 on 64 and an ETH1 on 172.16.0.1. And of course, you've got your loop back. So, in theory, because you can see up here, internet is still running, we should be able to ping 64, 64, 1. And there it is. So they're pinging each other. We have access to the internet, or our fake internet, for the purposes of this video. That's exactly what we wanted. So, East router is now set up. It's pinging through, and that's absolutely fine. Um, the one last thing we do want to do is we want to tell it it's got a default router. So its default router is going to be on the internet. Um, so we want to say that uh, for default routing, send it off to the 64 address. And to do that, we're going to go back into configure mode. And in configure, we're going to say set protocols. Again, you can hit the tab to finish that line for you. 
and we're going to have a static root and that static root is going to be to everything absolutely everything and its next hop is going to be 64.0.0.1 so that's how you set up a default root through to the 64 network which will resolve things for us and do a commit there and a save perfect so that's the east setup Join me again, we'll go and set the west up. We have the east, you can see it here, I've left the east running and I've left the internet running. Now we want the west, so again, clone, and my apologies that this is all a bit repetitive, but at least you're seeing every step of setting this up. Uh, we're gonna call this the west router. We're gonna reinitialize again, continue, full clone, continue. This will create our full clone, and hopefully I won't mess around with uh, pulling it up to the top again, the way I did with the last one. Good, done. So let's shove that up here. West router, whoops. Lord, just will not do what I want it to do today. There we go. So this one is on the 192 and it's on the 38th. So it's network, you can either go into settings this way or click on the network, I'll just show you, you can click on the network here to go straight to network settings. So it's gonna be on the host only, and it's VBox Net 1, because Net 1 is our 38. In fact, I should have actually typed that in here. VBox Net 0, VBox Net 1, VBox net 2 and VBox net 3. Okay, so it's going to be on VBox net 1. Uh, we might as well have the deny on this as well. And its second adapter is going to be on VBox net 3. Deny. Okay, so VBox net 1, VBox net 3. The east router is on 0 and Two, so that's on the 64 and the 172, and the internet should be on 0 and 1, which is 64 and 38. Perfect. So the West, let's get the West up and running. Same again, it will probably fail because it's coming from a clone of our standard. Um, I'm hoping I reinitialized. Did I reinitialize the MAC addresses? We'll soon know because if it's if it says that it didn't fail, I'll just have to redo those steps again. It failed, that's fine, so I did remember to do it. So VYOS, VYOS, into configure, load the standard commit that, save that, exit and reboot. Okay, so this should now come up clean again and we can put its IP addresses on there. Okay, and it's gonna have a 38, just to remind ourselves, it's gonna have a 38 and a 192. Come on machine. Okay, so we now have three virtual boxes. As I said, we will have three machines. So, VMIOS, VMIOS, uh, show interfaces, there they are, ETH0, ETH1, excellent. I'm gonna go into configure, uh, what the hell, we'll set the system host name, and we will call this West Router. I'm gonna reboot all of these in a minute, so that we can see that we can ping between them and we're going to set up the static routes on the internet to make it seem like it's the internet router. Um, so that's fine. Um, its host name is set. I'm going to commit that. Why not? Save that. Uh, we're going to set the interfaces up. So set interfaces, ethernet, eth0. Its address is going to be on the 38 network and we've already used one so we're going to use two and a slash 30 bit okay um 
commit that, why not? Uh, I mocked up the last time on that one, so I'm not going to do it this time. This is going to be on the 192.168, so this is our class C network, 1.1, uh, because it's the router, and it's going to have a 24 mask on there. We're going to commit that. Um, now we need to set up some routing on this particular router. So we're going to set protocols. It's going to have a default route to go to its 38 network. So we're going to say static root 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 with a slash 0. So everything is going to go for a next hop off to 38.0.0.1. .0 .0 that's where it's going to go. So it's going to go to the west side of the internet. I'm going to save that. Um, I'm going to exit out of here. We should be able to ping. And we are. So there we go. So we're able to ping from this router to its 38 side. Can we ping to 64.0.0.1? the other side, the east side of the router. And we can, because the router knows that both interfaces are on, this machine here knows it's got a 64 and a 38 address. So we're able to get through, that's excellent. Um, I'm gonna reboot this and I'm gonna reboot the other two routers and come back and join me so that we can do some pinging just between the routers. Then we're gonna get our DSL hosts here up and running as well.